Wine, food, and fun. Need we say more? That's what you will encounter when visiting our next guest. That's right. Executive Chef Brad Sobo from Kuru Cellars joins us with details on a special upcoming event that's just in time for the holidays. Crew sellers, you've been here before, but we get to have fun with you again. Of course. Because again, it's the holiday season. People are already gearing up. Of course. Uh, so our holiday season, one of the events we do every year is our wine uh, tasting. Uh -huh. So it features a lot of holiday wines, such as Cabernets, Pinot Noirs, you know, friendly that everybody loves. But we also like to feature uh, Beaujolais. But what we do is we say no to Nouveau, which is a lot of Beaujolais that everybody is used to. And we go with Crew, a little bit higher level, more intricate expressions of the gamay grape so that's a lot of fun and then we we're going to pair a lot of holiday themed bites to go with that food as everybody tastes a bunch of different wines. I'm hoping so. there's a little bit of education I will in there say as well. I'm a little lost. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not alone. <laughs> Rewind there. I, yeah, you had me at the Pinot Noir and the Cab and then I lost you. Uh, Beaujolais is a region in France. Gamay is the grape that they use to make that wine. Okay. Um, New Beaujolais Nouveau is something a lot of people are familiar with. It's a little bit of the kind of lesser tier of, of the Gamay grape. And then Beauj Cru Beaujolais are a little bit more full bodied, a little bit more expressive, a little bit more interesting. So, so is that where you came up with Cru Cellars? Uh, Cru is a French term, so that's where the name did come from, yes. And obviously there's gonna be wine and then food pairings, right? Yes, you guys indeed. can't not do food. Let's get you cooking, Chef. Of course. What are you making for us today? Uh, so today we are going to make quail and waffles. Our quail and waffles. I've heard of chicken and waffles, yeah, I know. Chef, but Stepping never this up one. The game. So with the quail, it's uh what's everybody like about chicken? Crispy skin, uh -huh. right? Yep, yep. Quail, more skin to meat ratio, so it's absolutely delicious. Okay. Oh. Um, instead of just straightforward waffles, what we're gonna make is a waffle stuffing. So we've oh got our goodness. butter, onions, celery, and garlic. So you're sauteing that. Saute that, add a little bit of salt, pepper, add some thyme, cinnamon. Is this something that is regularly on your menu? Uh, this is, is on our menu every day. Night? Okay. And it will, it's also gonna be at our event okay. as well. So this is cayenne and sage. And I kind of let that get all fun and happy together in the pan. Fun and happy, I love it. And then we're gonna take our quail, dredge it in a little bit of seasoned flour, which is but my, Yeah, that flour looks, it almost has a pinkish tint to it's it. It's a what little bit, have in there? a little bit of paprika, okay. salt, basil, thyme, ginger, mustard, you know, kind of my uh, secret herb oh. blend of herbs and spices. Okay. What is the secret to cooking quail? Is it different than chicken? Uh, different? No, I mean, the one thing with a little bit of game meats is you can actually do them a little bit less cooked than you would chicken. Mm -hmm. So like a medium rare duck would be just fine and okay. quail tends to serve, eat a little bit better, just not quite fully cooked all the way through. Okay. And then how long do you typically, now these are smaller, these so are I'd smaller, imagine so they're gonna cook up pretty fast. It's gonna be about four to six minutes, depending okay. upon how hot everything's gonna be. All right. Give us a sample of what else is on your menu. Um, uh, one of I our, have not been yet. One of our very popular dishes is our uh, blackened octopus dish. Wow. So it's slow braised octopus that we then rub in our blackened seasoning and serve with a mustard lemon vinaigrette and a fennel and olive salad. Okay, and Brad, I gotta ask you. Yes. People are counting down the days for the Armature Works. You guys have a spot in there. Explain what the future's like there and why people are so amped up for the opening of this. Uh, so Armature Works is gonna contain a lot of different concepts um, in the entire development. We are going to have a stall in what is going to be called the Heights Public Market. Okay. So we're gonna also focus on the same- okay, a stall, is that what stall. they're calling? Yeah, like okay. a, a counter, yeah, a yeah. stall, you know, along that sort of line. Um, it's gonna be focused mainly on steak and french fries, some sandwiches, and then the same cheese and charcuterie. So it'll be a much smaller menu, obviously. Yes, much, 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 much. Okay. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our onions and We have about a minute left, just to give that. you a heads up. Throw oh, that look in at there. That. And I'm I gotta not say, expecting I, no, that. and I'm so like thrown off because I see waffles, I think syrup, and you're saying no, not so much. Eggs. I would say, was that eggs? Eggs and chicken stock. What is going on here? Mix all this together. Would you say I'll make them happy again? Yeah. yeah. Your line? I love happy, that line. happy, happy food together. Happy, happy together. <laughs> Throw this in the oven. So you then bake that. Bake that till it's all nice and done through the magic of television. 
we'll have Wait a our... minute, wait a minute. <laughs> so did you just cut this out? Because obviously it's not going to come out looking like that. No, but I used to, like, okay. after it came out, I used the ring mold to cut okay, them out and make you. them look use all pretty. Okay. okay, I don't know a lot about cooking, Chef, but... Uh, that's how, that that's, that's what I learned at school, was how to do things that are physically impossible. Okay, well, unfortunately, we are out of time as we are finishing up this dish. Again, we want to pass along the information if you want to check out their holiday extravaganza. Of course, you can visit them. What's the best place to learn more? You say go uh, ahead and get tickets now, Yeah, right? CrewSellersTampa.com is where tickets are going to be available. There you go. Thank you so much, Chef. We appreciate it. You're and very we'll be welcome. And we're diving in momentarily. I know. All right. We'll, uh, we'll be right back.